Hey guys, welcome back to this old style of blog videos that we're doing. Now, it's not this is not a blog, so don't worry, we still own the villas. Yeah, anyway, I bought something from TrueSwords.com, a nice, big, shiny sword. So, it just came in the mail today, and I was uh, waiting for it for uh, two days. Um, so, yeah, let's do an unboxing of it right here, right now. Um, yeah, I guess... Uh, I guess. Oh, look at this bad boy. Look at this bad boy. All right, let's let's open this up right here. All right, so we got our knife ready. Let's go. Okay. All right. There we go. All right. They're gonna be difficult. There we go. That popping of the tape always a great sign. Save apron scent now on your next order. Well, at least it's valid for two months, so or till next month. Uh, all right, so yeah, some little pamphlet. They're saying come back, check out what we got. Yeah, usual stuff. All right, is there anything else in here worth while? Not anything from what I can see. So, let's move on to the box within a box. So, let's get our knife here. We're going to cut this open. Bada bing, bada boom. Bada bing, bada boom. And bada boom, bada bing. Alright, so. Oh, man. Oh, boy. Look. Oh, oh, oh you can't see it in the camera. Oh. Oh yeah, alright. Oh my god. It's actually really big. So, yeah. Alright, so before I get around to showing it off, I'm going to give you some specs and how much I paid for it. I'm not going to tell you why I got it. That'll be a secret. You'll see soon enough. Soon enough. Um, but anyway, if I can pull it off. Um, so yeah, it was $25, $13 shipping, which most people on YouTube don't tell you, um, or on the internet in general, $13 extra shipping. So make sure you have at least $40 to buy a $25 item, unless you go and find some promo code. Um, but yeah, 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 $25, it's a 36 inch blade. It is the, um, why am I so low? Alright, eh, eh, whatever. Anyway, 36 inch blade and it is, mm, I'm not gonna say yet, uh, but yeah, it comes in this nice leathery case with some back straps that, for the life of me, I don't get why people can't seem to put these on. I mean, I'm gonna try and put them on in the video and we'll see, so. All right, but enough talking. Let's get to the piece of resistance. Whoa, what is that? Okay. There we go. Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Woo! All right. Let's take this plastic off. Oh, yes. God, this thing is heavy for some three pounds. <laughs> Gold, steel, full tang, baby. Oh man, this this is beautiful blade. I'll tell you that. Huh? Didn't come sharp though. Eh, not surprised. I can always sharpen it myself. But yeah, nice blade. Only thing I gotta say is that I guess what yeah what most people say when they purchase their items. I don't know if you can see that because uh, I gotta get the light to shine on it. There you go. That like goop. You can see that goop on there. That's weird. I don't know. I don't know what that's about. But probably just take some cleaning off. Oh well. Anyway, so... <laughs> yeah. This thing is awesome. Alright. Enough playing around. <laughs> Oh man, I like this this little strap too. You might as well probably ramp around your handle. 
as it wraps around the blade. It's nicely wrapped, nice and tight. Well, I can move it, but it's nice and tight. I'm not going to be going out hacking people's limbs off. So, yeah, all right. Let's uh, take a quick second and see how big this blade actually is, right? Yeah. Well, that was stupid. All right, so for three feet, kind of want to want to put it against the green screen here. Kind of want to get, yeah, that's, that's a pretty nice size blade. Yeah, that's that's long. That is really long. That's a reach right there. <clears throat> all right, now, seriously, I, I need to stop playing around. I'm going to have way too much fun with this. All right, so uh, let's put it in the back strap and see if we can put it on. <clears throat> we got it on, and it looks like it's easy to travel a nice little case there. Very actually concealable. It looks like it might as well be a guitar, you know? But then it's got your quick access Velcro strap. Well, alright, that's not that quick access, but you get the you get the idea. So yeah. Alright, so let's have a seat now and yeah. So here we are again. So yeah, uh overall I'd say Hate when the screen does that. All right. Overall, I hope. Uh, <laughs> overall, I like to say that the uh, shoe swords they delivered. It's a really nice blade. Mm, there we go. It's a really nice blade for how much I paid. Almost cut my face off. Um, for how much I paid? Twenty-five bucks for a nice cold steel blade but yeah uh only negative things i'd have to say about the thing was the goop that came on it and the fact that i'm not really going to complain about the fact that it didn't come sharp i mean you know me running my finger up and down all day oh, that's not going to help anybody so yeah but that'll probably come off with some cleaning anyway so that's not that's not too big of a deal. It does have a point on it, so that's good. The only thing I don't like about the case, I do like this case. Easy to put on, very very well hidden. Um, it's not a plastic case. It's a I don't I want to say nylon, like it's a soft case, a soft sleeve. It's not like a hard shell case. I don't know if you heard that knocking, but it's not a case case. It's just a sleeve to hold it in. It's a little bit unfortunate because every time I put it in here, I'm gonna think I'm cutting it up. And I don't want to cut up my bag that's holding my sword. So, but that's just a few gripes. They got here on time. That's a good thing. It's not bad. It's a very well-crafted sword. I enjoy it. So, overall, I give True Swords and this... I give True Swords a uh, 4, uh, um, I guess say 3.5. Because they don't tell you up front how much shipping is. And they don't, you know have any plans you can do it to get it cheaper it's just whatever it's flat rate is but hey they give it to you in the days they say they're gonna give it to you one two days two to four I think two to four is like their max so but yeah so I think I might be ordering some more stuff from future future purchases from True Swords so yeah that's them the sword I gotta say for me um a four out of five, if not five out of five. If only four out of five because the gunk that came on here is going to be clean and the fact that it's not sharp and I'll have to sharpen it myself. That's that's really the only gripes and that shouldn't stop anyone from buying this sword or anything else from True Swords considering they're really cheap too. But yeah, so yeah, so uh, hope you enjoyed this uh, review. I haven't even told you what the damn thing was called. It is the Ninja, no, Cyborg Ninja Tech Blade. So if that doesn't give away what I'll be doing with it, then I don't know what will. Yeah, nothing really much else to say, but uh, if you enjoyed the sword, if you enjoyed the review, watch some of my other reviews I got going. Um, hope that you buy something from them if you if you're uh, you know a sword lover or a blade lover I should say because they've got a buttload of stuff uh, so much stuff you'll never even imagine how much stuff there is uh, I don't know why I keep putting this on my face I guess because it's so cold and it feels good
But yeah, if you love, you know, blades and stuff like that, they got a wide variety. They have ninja gear available too, so I may pick that up just for a collection, just for a collector. So, yeah. All right, so that's all for me uh, and my new nice little pal here who will be making a return. Yes, yes indeed. So, all right, this has been the Drew Cruz, and as always, now, well, now here in addition with new unboxings, which February, this is gonna be a big month for unboxings, I'll tell you that much. That's all for me, all right, so, as always, love you, take care, peace. Go buy a sword, go watch some of my other videos. Now if you excuse me. One more quick thing before we take off. Uh, I'd like to thank the Gamer Guys for uh, plugging me on their channel and their video, Call of Duty Black Ops 2, One in the Chamber. It's a pretty entertaining video and had me laughing, so I urge you to check out some of their videos. I just want to take this time to thank them for plugging me, and so in return, I'll plug them right back. So, yeah. Alright, so, uh, that's it. Thanks, Gamer Guys, and, um... Thanks, Two Swords! <laughs> Okay, so here we are at the end of the video. Um, so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And um, hope you guys are going to enjoy this new little ending slide, I guess, theme, Bob. Yeah, as you can tell, it's my first one. And um, what the heck was that? I don't know, but as you can tell, this is my first ending slide. So yeah, hopefully I can put more of these in here and this particular one today I am including one of my videos and one of the gamer guys videos the uh, youtuber who I plugged in my video and They're pretty funny. So I need I heard you to check them out. You know, they're pretty interesting and I'm just so grateful that they plugged me at the end of their video so I figure I'll do them one back and Although I should probably be putting a review um, instead of a <laughs> playthrough part. Um, I Frankly, I don't have the video on my hard drive anymore. Uh, and I don't feel like re-downloading my own video. So I'm not doing that. But I have the Gamer Guys video. And this is their newest video. So if you want to go check it out, go ahead and be my guest. Uh, cl click the link uh, right there. So um yeah, 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 um, a little something about the videos, I guess, that are up, I, I don't know, I don't want to take up too much time, but, uh, on the left, that's my video, Mega Man 64, part one, and I'm pretty excited about that playthrough, um, so, yeah, uh, hopefully I'll be getting some more parts up on it, but, you know, we'll see with all that comes, so, we shall see. But yeah, and on the right side we have a Gamer Guys video. Uh, this is Sonic, um, what is it? Uh, Sonic Generations, yeah, sorry. Sorry guys. <laughs> Sonic Generations, uh, something police. Yeah, sorry guys, I haven't even watched this video myself. YouTube police, there you go. Alright, so, yeah. But uh, they just posted this up, so <laughs> give me a break here. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you check out their videos and, you know, give them some love from me. Um, and check out my video and some of my other videos. My, all my videos need love, too. So, anyway, I don't want to keep taking up much of your time. And I don't want to keep rambling on here. So, uh, yeah, alright. I guess this ends the first ending slide. Alright, so... As always, love you. Don't forget to check out the gamer guys. And I'm waiting for the timer to run out here. Peace.